where do this parabola and this line intersect? Four step process. Set the equations equal to each other. Move everything to one side. Solve for x and plug each of your answers into the original equation. Look how easy this is. Set the equations equal to each other is step one. So, all of a sudden we start with x squared plus 4x plus 6 equals negative 2x uh, minus 5. Step two, move everything to one side. We can move the minus 2x over. We can move the minus 5 over. What do we get? x squared plus 4x plus 6. Now we have plus 2x and plus 5. We're left with 0 on the right. We can simplify that a little bit because 4x and 2x make 6x, and 6 and 5 make 11. Step 3, solve for x. Factor or use the quadratic formula. I prefer factoring. Uh, oh, I can't factor that. I can't find two numbers that multiply to 11 and add to 6. Guess I'll have to use the quadratic formula. Uh, A is 1, B is 6, C is 11. So let's do that. The quadratic formula. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Let's plug in the numbers that we just found. B was 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4. a was 1, c was 11, all over 2 times a. a was 1. So what do I get? Negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared is 36, minus 4 times 1 is 4, times 11 is 44. Oh, I see trouble brewing here. You know why? because 36 minus 44 gives negative 8. What's the square root of a negative number? No answer. You can't take the square root of a negative number. You know what that means? That means these two, the parabola and the line, don't intersect at all. No answer, because there's a negative underneath the square root. No solution. This is a parabola, maybe look like that, and a line, maybe it looks like that. They clearly don't intersect. That could be what it looks like, I don't know. All I know is that they don't intersect, because when I set the two equations equal to each other, I even get an answer. That's how easy it is sometimes.